गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अनदर टॉपिक दैट इज डिस्टेंस एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस अबाउट डिस्टेंस एक्चुअल डिस्टेंस मींस व्हाट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ साइंस वी कैन डिस्कस दिस पार्ट ऑफ सो फर्स्ट हेडिंग फर्स्ट टॉपिक आवर डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस मींस द actual part part covered by a moving body moving body is called distance Okay, so first I just write definition of distance and displacement. Then I can take some example, and from this part we can distinguish between distance and displacement. So second one is what? Second one is displacement. Displacement means the shortest path. shortest path between b oblique between initial position initial position to the final position position is equal to the magnitude magnitude of the displacement okay the shortest path between initial position to the final position is equal to the magnitude of the displacement and the direction direction of displacement is always initial position initial initial position to the मैग्नेटिकेसमेंट ओके Suppose, dear student, a boy starts his journey from the point A and reaches at the point B by around four kilometer and towards north direction. And then after, so towards east, and then after reach from B to C by around three kilometer. so according to our definition the what is the value of distance distance means the actual path covered by a body so initially the particle this is a is what a is the initial position and c is what c is the final position so what is the value of distance distance means actual path followed by the body so initially the particle at the point a then reach at the point b and then reach at the point c so actual path covered by the body equal to what 4 km plus 3 km so distance equal to equal to 4 plus 
equal to 7 km. Now, dear students, point arise the what is the value of displacement? Displacement means the shortest path between the initial position to the final position. So, this is our initial position and this is our final position. So, A to B and B to C is not our the shortest path. So, shortest path, then what is the value of shortest path? Initial point to the final point, this is the shortest path. Okay. So, AC is equal to what here? AC equal to the value of displacement. Now, we can calculate the what is the value of displacement. Displacement equal to So, this angle will be 90 degree and now we can apply over a Pythagoras theorem. All of you know this is called hypotenuse, this is the base and this is the height. So, hypotenuse square AC square equal to what? AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. Then after that AC equal to what? Under root AB square plus BC square. So, all together the value of AB equal to what? 4. So, square means what? 16 plus BC means 3 kilometer 9. So, all together 25 and that is equal to 5 kilometer. So, the value of displacement will be 5 kilometer. And one thing the important point about uh, distance and displacement. If the particle moving through a or travel through a straight line path and the initial position and the final position remain same, then the value of distance and displacement remains same. Suppose dear students, the particle is starting from the journey point, point A and reach at the point B and the distance and the distance covered by the particle will be 4 km. So, in this case, the value of distance and displacement will be remain same. And if the particle starting his journey, suppose in this case, the value of distance and displacement are not same. Why? Initially the particle point A, then reach at the point B, then the particle change its direction. If the particle change its direction, and that moment the value of distance will be greater than the value of displacement. How? Initially, the if in the, in the first example, the particle changes direction. So, that's why the distance equal to what? 7 km. And the value of displacement is what? 5 km. If the particle during its entire journey changes direction, and that moment the distance will be greater than the value of displacement. And if the particle move through a straight line and initial position and final position remain same, and that moment the value of distance and displacement will be remain same. And in this example, we can just initially position A, reach at the point B, and the path will be a straight line, and initial position, final position remain same, then the value of distance and displacement will be remain same. And some important points about distance and displacement will be in one point, dear students, very, very important point regarding the part of displacement. Displacement, if the particle, suppose this is an object and this is the, from this point I can throw in the object and after certain times later, the pins come back to the same position. If the particle come back to the same position and that moment the value of displacement will be zero. If initial position and final position they are coincide to each other, so that means the value of displacement will be zero. Suppose this is a station A and this is a station B. A train starts from its journey from point A, then goes to the point B and again come back to the station A. So that means the value of displacement will be zero. Isn't it what? If the initial position and final position, they are coincide to each other, so that means the value of displacement will be zero. So dear students, the, so in this case the value of displacement will be what? Displacement equal to 4 plus since the particle come back to the same position, so displacement will be 0. But dear student, distance equal to what? Distance equal to 4 plus 4 kilometer means 8 kilometer. Because already we have discussed, distance means what? Distance means the actual path covered by a moving body. So initially particle point A and then goes to the point B and come back to the point A. So that means the actual path covered by the body equal to what? That is equal to nothing but that is equal to distance and that is equal to 8 km. And if the initial, 
point and final point they coincide to each other so that means the value of displacement will be zero another example another example dear student suppose this is one a circular path and the radius of the circular path is small r and this is the point a and after a certain times let the particle reach at the point b and after that the particle reach at the point a so if i ask you dear students what is the value of distance and displacement due to its entire journey or due to one complete revolution initially the particle at the point a then goes to the point b and come back to the same position a so in this example what is the value of distance and displacement since the particle so first i find what is the value of distance distance means what distance means the actual path covered by the body initially the particle at the point a then after the reach at the point a so that means the distance equal to what the circumference of the circular path radius is r then distance equal to what 2 pi r and since the body come back to the same position so displacement will be what displacement will be big zero okay so another some point so from this discussion we can told that the value of distance is equal to displacement when if the particle travels through a straight line and initial position and final position remain same and that moment only the value of distance and displacement will be remain same normally the value of distance will be greater than the value of displacement when if the particle or moving body change its direction from the first example initial point at the point b and at the point b so initially the direction will be towards east and after that the direction will be towards north so in this example the particle changes direction so that's why the value of distance will be greater than the value of displacement okay so another two point is there dear students the distance and displacement distance is what distance is a scalar quantity and displacement will be a vector quantity so what is the reason behind this why distance is called scalar quantity scalar quantity means those quantity only have magnitude they are called are scalar quantity and those quantity have magnitude and direction both they are called a vector quantity i repeat once again for scalar quantity the quantity only have magnitude means only value and dear students and those quantity only have magnitude and as well as the quantity have a direction and that quantity is called a vector quantity dear students regarding the part of distance distance means what that in regarding the time of discussion the distance only have what only have magnitude that is actual path suppose the particle starting his journey from point a to the point b and then reach to the point c their actual path equal to 7 km so this distance quantity only have magnitude and that's why the distance is called scalar quantity regarding the part displacement dear students the shortest path between initial position to the final position is equal to the magnitude of the displacement is equal to the magnitude of the displacement but how can you find the direction the way to find the direction is equal to the direction of displacement is always initial position towards the final position in this example dear students the direction of displacement is what the particle from reach uh, from take the path a to b and b to c and displacement means what the shortest path so displacement how can you take the direction a to c so that means a to c is the direction and how can you represent the vector quantity if a quantity is a vector quantity so you just put an arrow sign on the above quantity and displacement is re represented by the letter s and you can just this is a vector quantity and distance also represented by s but you are not put any arrow sign because this is a scalar quantity and this is a vector quantity if any quantity is a vector and you just put an arrow sign above this physical quantity okay so this is the reason behind why distance is called scalar quantity and displacement is called vector quantity and i just repeat once again the what is the basic difference between distance and displacement distance means actual path covered by a body and displacement means the shortest path between initial position to the final position and dear students the how can you measure the displacement the way to find the direction of the displacement the initial towards the initial position towards the final position in this example the what is the direction of the displacement towards east and in this example what is the direction of the 
displacement towards a to c towards a to c and if you mark over here this is north south east and west so that means the direction should be north east towards north east position so so now dear students another point distance all the time positive but dear students displacement sometimes positive displacement sometimes negative and displacement sometimes zero also so when zero if the initial position and final positions is the remain same and then and then only the value of displacement will be zero so i think all the part regarding distance and displacement will be clear dear students and that's all for today's class thank you very much for watching this video